And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're talking about Blockbuster, the party game. Alas, poor Blockbuster. I'm curious, like in 10 years when people come back and look at this review, if they'll even know what I'm talking about here, because Blockbuster will be a relic of the past. A place that we went to and rented videos, and you would spend a long time looking through there for movies. And that's what this game is. It's basically just a movie trivia game, or a game where you're trying to think about movies or get other people to guess movies. Here's how it plays. So this is the setup for the game. You put this board in between the different teams. You're going to be split up into teams. One person from each team is going to decide to go first, and you're going to have a head-to-head -head match here. You'll flip over a card, and it will talk about a category of movies. Movies set in the future. So one person goes first. They might say Terminator 2, Judgment Day, because part of it's set in the future. They pass it off to the other person. That person's like, uh, Star Trek. Now, I can't say another Star Trek movie because I can't say sequels, so I have to pick a different movie that's set in the future, so The Time Machine. Um, and then we just keep going back and forth until somebody can't think of it before the time runs out. So if you can't think of a movie before the time runs out, then you lose the head-to-head -head match. And the head-to-head -head match is what's going to set it up for the next round. So when that happens, the person who won it is going to take six movie cards off the top of the deck. And they're going to look at them. Okay, so we got X-Men and Fight Club, Monsters, Inc., Clockwork Orange, King Kong, and Lassie. You're going to give three to your other opponents. So I might give them... I'd give them maybe these three cards. No, I want to have different categories. So I'll keep Fight Club, X-Men... And I'll do keep Lassie, King Kong, and Fight Club. Those are the three I'll keep. Now, one of these, each, I'm going to give the three to my opponent who lost, and each of us is going to place one card in each of these categories. So let's say I do this. You then will press the timer, hold it down for two seconds to start a 30 minute, 30 second timer, and you are now trying to give these clues. So here I might go, come! Um, I, uh, this is probably not the best one in one word. I think I would have did a, a quote on it, which would have been just come home. But you can say the same word, one word, to get people to guess that one. Quote it. You just need to do a quote from the movie. So here I might be, "'Twas beauty that killed the beast." Hopefully people would be able to get that from there. If you don't know a quote, the rules say you can make one up. And acting it out, you just act out the movie. Pantomime, no sounds at all. If you finish all three of yours and people guess them correctly, you can start giving your opponents. If you do run out of time, then they do the same thing. They'll start their timer trying to get their three words, and then if you have any left over, they can steal those also. Each one you get correctly, you will put face up in front of you. The goal is to get eight different categories. If you get three of the same, you can use those once per turn to steal one category card from your opponent. But other than that, you're just going to keep playing until you have all eight of the categories. When you do that, your team has won. The whole thing is blockbusters, from the sign on the board here to the case, which is a blockbuster video cassette tape. I mean, ah, on the back, I and mean, look at that, even on the front. Oh, where does it say? It says, be kind, rewind somewhere on here. I just love that. Oh, I think it's on the back of the board. Be kind, rewind. And the cards, you know, the timer itself works fine. The cards, there's a lot of different category cards. Movies based on a true story. Movies with the word and in their title. Movies about a war. And then there's a big giant pile of movie cards from The Thing to The Neverending Story. It, The Dark Knight, Breakfast at Tiffany's, Mulan, The Green Mile, It's a Wonderful Life, Godzilla, The Addams Family, Babe. Uh, the Naked Gun, Men in Black. Most of these movies are not movies that people have not heard of before. So there's a lot of good combinations and choices that are mixed in here.
Ghostbusters is a pretty standard party game, uh, but it's a it's a party game I think a lot of people will like. The, like I said, most of the movies are fairly well known. If you're someone who doesn't watch movies, then you probably should skip this. I think my favorite part of it is that first phase where movies that start with the letter W and you go back and forth. That's an interesting thing. It's this back and forth, seeing who could do it, and they pick categories that are pretty broad and probably have a hundred plus. But when that time pressure's on, you're like ah. And the rest of it, the movie quote's good, if you know the movie. One word is good if you give that proper one word. Uh, although we found that that's easy, the hardest one. Then pantomiming is just funny because pantomimes are always funny. Um, I don't know that, the, that it's a perfect party game. I think there's a few small problems with it. One, collecting eight categories is longer than I would. I think I might be the first to six categories, depending on how long you want the party game to go. And collecting three extra of one of the types, I think I would just say if you collected any three extra cards, you can count those as any one type. That just That's a house rule that I would do that makes the game flow better. But if you're looking for games and you're like, what's the name of that movie, that, then this is the game for you. Nostalgia for Blockbuster, I mean the game isn't about rewinding and dealing with an annoying clerk who knows more about movies than you do, or knows nothing about movies, or going in there hoping to get the new movie of the week and finding out that there's none left. But there is 200 copies of that second movie of the week that no one wants to watch. Ah, nostalgia. And of course that's going to sell this game to have the Blockbuster theme on it, but it's a fun party game in the middle. Dice Sarah Judgment approved. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.